Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel for another Let's Play series. I am your host, Willie B. Coyote, and today we are going to be playing, as the screen clearly implies, Quake 4. Uh, I've been wanting to play this game on the channel for a little bit now, but I've only just managed to get my recording software to actually work with it. Um, which has been... fun, to say the least? Skill issues and jokes aside, before I begin, I want to get the self-promotion done right out of the gate. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow and hopefully get paid as well. Uh, without any further ado, let's get into it. Um, I don't, I've only played a little bit of this game since I bought it in a sale on Steam. Uh, so I'm going to play on Corporal Difficulty, which is the uh, normal standard difficulty in this game. Uh, also, before I begin, I want to say that today's video is also the debut of my channel's new intro. So from here on, you're going to be seeing that intro you saw at the beginning of this video at the start of all my videos. And I'm also going to actually be editing them from now on. Because I was, just too, I was just in a rush to get content on the channel and I was too lazy to edit it myself. Um, without, so without any further ado, let's get into it. Ah, uh, the vast expanse of space. Hey, what's up with this guy? Oh, that's not good. His bottom half's gone. An id software game. Developed by Raven Software. Before they got ruined by Activision Blizzard. Published by Bethesda Softworks. Quake 4. It's quaking time! Ah, uh, I'm sorry, I just couldn't resist doing that meme. You know, I really love this kind of style of sci-fi, the kind of grounded and gritty gunmetal gray sci-fi you see in stuff like this and Aliens and Doom and Halo and that kind of thing. I just really, and Starship Troopers as well. Incoming attack. Speaking of which, All right, you ass or die. this scene here definitely wasn't inspired by Starship Troopers. Totally not. Totally not ripping off Starship Troopers and Aliens, for that matter. Alright, here we go. We're on an express elevator to hell. Going down! It's quaking time! Holy shit! This is some ride, eh, buddy? Who's the new guy? Matthew K. One certified badass. That's us! Shut the hell up, Strauss. <laughs> Gentlemen, good news in the war against the Strog. A lone Marine battled through enemy lines and killed the Strog's leader. Oh, I wonder who that could have been. disabled the Strog planetary defense guns, so it's a ground pounder's war from here on out. HQ has ordered us to assist clearing out a landing zone for a mobile command center. Copy that. Oh boy! Oh boy. Call me that one guy in the fishing boat near the bridge, cause hashtag it do go down! Oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh. Here we are, planet side. There goes a uh, mech suit, like it's battle tech or something. Oh boy. And this is like Black Hawk Down. Oh. Oh boy, what the heck is that? Oh boy, okay. So here we are, in Quake 4. Uh, this game was released in 2004, 2005-ish, around the same time that Doom 3 was released. Uh, and it runs on the id Tech 4 engine, which is the same engine that Doom 3 runs on. And, you know, 
for a game that came out in the mid to early to mid two thousands, the graphics still hold up pretty well for the most part. I mean, the lighting is really good, and uh, it's just all around really kind of cool to see how these old games hold up in the modern era. So uh, when you start off in the game, you've got the starting pistol here, and uh, it's one of only two guns in the game that actually has a flashlight. You've got the standard. Uh, semi-automatic firing, but it's got an alternate fire mode, which is a charge shot where they uh, uh, I can't speak English today. Uh, it's got a charge sh shot, charge shot, alternate fire mode where you hold down the trigger and it fires off a more powerful shot. So, uh, yeah, that's handy to have. Let's check on our buddy over here. Hey, what's up with you, dude? You say that like that's a bad thing. BLT left orders that everyone's supposed to hook up with the squad ASAP. Just go through those doors. You run into them eventually. Copy that. Do not walk through fire, by the way. Do not walk through fire. I made, just made that like a noob. That mistake like a noob. Okay. HQ. HQ. Come in, HQ. There. He stabilized for the moment. You're Kane, right? My name's Anderson. Here, let me heal you. HQ. Do you read? You're good to go, Marine. If you get hurt, find a medic. They'll heal you up. Now, because in Quake 4, you're not the only Marine on the on the planet, uh, there's you can find techs and medics around the area who will heal you and uh, restore your armor. Which is uh, handy. That's a handy thing to know. Okay, so let's follow this guy. Private Webb of Badger Squad here. Another thing about the starting pistol in Quake 4, it has unlimited ammo, so if you've completely drained yourself of all your ammunition, you're not going to be completely doomed. Always make sure you check in these little, search in the little nooks and crannies in Quake 4 for ammo, armor pickups, armor and health pickups as well. Sorry if, uh, like, so here's what I was talking about, about searching for ammo and armor pickups. So, uh, you come back here and I got, uh, two health pickups. So they're really hidden in well and, like, little nooks and crannies all over the maps in these games. Oh boy, he's in trouble. We're not gonna save him, Doc! But we do get his gun, which is nice. So this is the, uh, standard machine gun. Uh, it's kind of a standard assault rifle type weapon. Uh, you've got standard automatic fire, but for its alternate fire mode, you get a scope mode, which changes it to semi-automatic and allows you to hit targets at longer ranges. But we're indoors right now, so we don't really need that. You okay, dude? Pretty sure that's the voice of Steve Bloom. Uh, he's a voice actor who's been in, like, literally every video game ever. He's been in, like, literally every video game and every anime ever. Like, he was uh, Spike Spiegel in Cowboy Bebop. He was uh, Scott, Mich Scott Mitchell in the more recent Ghost Recon games. Oh, boy. Go away! Go away! We don't want you here, Strog! All clear. The heck is this heart-looking machine thing here? Uh, can't read the letters. Oh well. I'm sure that won't be important later on. And the business. We call this foreshadowing. Here we go. What's up with you? My legs. I can't move them. Your legs? It's like that meme from Spongebob. MY LEG! MY LEG! Damn squibs must be jamming our signal. Kovic, what took you so long to get back? Sorry, Sarge. I had a run-in with a Strog. I met this Marine from Rhino Squad. Your Rhino Squad? I tell it back to the landing site, grab your medic, and bring him here. Copy that. Let me just get these health packs so I don't immediately die. Um, back through here.
So, um, I'm doing Quake 4. I, at some point, I'm going to do a playthrough of Doom 3 on this channel. But I'm going to... Oh! Oh! He's in trouble. That trope, by the way, is absolutely typical, where someone's waving at you and a door pops open behind them and something kills them from behind. That is just absolutely typical. But anyways, I'm going to do a playthrough of Doom 3 at some point, but uh, I want to get the Quake 4 playthrough out of the way first before I do that. And here's our buddy here. Make sure he doesn't die. So we got our medic, and now we're going to head back the way we came. But let's wait a second to, for our buddy to see if our buddy will heal us up. No? Okay. Yeah, in in id tech four games, be sure to expect a lot of jump scare attacks like that. Well, not necessarily jump scares, but you, I guess because Quake Four is more of an action focused game than Doom Three was. But you know, like, uh, just expect a lot of those. And how convenient! Someone blasted through the rest of the pipes for us. Great. Now I'm gonna have to start over. Skill issue. I'll probably just end up uh, cutting through this, skipping over this bit to when we pick up Anderson again. Through the power of editing. So as I snap my fingers... Two hours later. And voila, here we are. Um, before I go any further though, I'm gonna just real quick save again. Just in case, you know, like, uh, I do die again. I don't want to, like, go all the way back to the to that last bit. So, uh, so back the way we came, once again, kill this guy. Through here. So many lives wasted. Kill this guy. Oh boy, we got artillery inbound. Which is gonna be fun. Kill this guy. And how convenient, they opened the way for us so we don't have to go all the way down and around the end. There. Here we are. You think you can patch me up too while you're at it, dude? No? Okay. I gave him a med pack and sedated him. Don't be okay. Thanks, son. Kane, you're free to go now. Take that door and it'll get you to your squad. Alright. Let's do it this way and let's go regroup with the rest of our squad. Wow. He just John Wicked his way uh, through those. <laughs> I with Rose. Not Wait, you were Hunter gambling with my life? So wait, if you're a sharpshooter, where's your sniper rifle? Just saying. You know, if you think if he was a sharpshooter, he'd have a sniper rifle, or maybe at least a DMR or something. Eh, it's okay. And here, here's another it, uh, common feature with the Tech 4 games is the interactive cursors you see on uh, screens like this. So we hit this, and that's the first level completed. Copy that, I'm on my way. There. Is 
over this way and grab our first body armor pickup. You're gonna need it. Cause this guy comes around the corner. Die, die, die! Thank you. Another game save, thank you. And into the trenches, literally. And it is a war zone out here. Through this way. Kill these guys. You know, it really is fun to go back and play all these old retro first person shooters. <laughs> retro. It's kind of weird to think that a game from 2004, 2005 is old enough to be considered retro. Like, and that reminds me, I'm going to quick survey for anyone watching in the comments. Leave your answer. How old do you think something has to be in order for it to be considered retro? Because I remember being on Netflix not too long ago, and that 70s show was stuck under retro TV. Which is funny because at the time that that 70s show was coming out, the 1970s was considered retro. And, uh, but now we're at the po getting towards the point where people are considering the 90s to be retro. So now we've got that 90s show on Netflix. So you are alive. Damn. Cortez won the bet. Wait, you bet that I was going to be dead, dude? Not cool. Copy that. Then hurry up and get out of my... Stop body blocking the way so I can go do it. Thank you. Come this way. Basically, uh, if you're... Because this is a linear game, you don't really have to worry about uh, knowing your way too much because, you know, it's pretty much always going to be pointing in the direction that you're supposed to go. That being said, though, a basic rule of thumb for linear shooter games like this is just, uh, if there's enemies, if there's an abundance of enemies, that means you're going the right way. Oh, and here's another rule of linear shooter games. Warning, red barrels are explosive, and explosive barrels explode. So, uh, yeah. This way. Kill these guys, and I am out of ammo. And I'm almost out of health, too. Crap. Oh. Well, there we go again. Two thousand years later. And we are back once again where we're supposed to be. Thank you for the power of editing. So, as I was saying earlier, uh, explosive barrels explode. That's a handy thing to know. And wherever there's an abundance of enemies, it means you're going the right way, usually. Kill that guy. And through this exit... Bada bing, bada boom, bada bam! And into the hangars. You know, I often get really, really bored of loading screens like this. And it makes me thankful for fast loading loading screens. <laughs> By the way, uh, before we continue on, the thing of note to note in Quake 4, when you're in these loading screens, it can be kind of hard to realize it. But you have to click c to continue. Uh, so, yeah, there we are. Shh. 
We gotta be tactical. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting rabbits. Ah, here we go. This is something that happens in the id Tech 4 games, is they have these cutscenes to introduce new enemy archetypes. I don't know the names of all the enemy archetypes off the top of my head in this game, but, uh, I'll probably, like, after I finish recording this video, I'll probably, uh, hit the, hit the books and find out. <laughs> Okay, I am low on ammo. Thankfully, we're at a checkpoint here. Rhino Squad, eh? So what are we gonna do here? Our mission is to clear hostiles out of the hangar so a demolitions team can work safely. Unfortunately, comlink signals can't penetrate the rock of this mountain. I suppose I could stay here and relay the comm signals for you guys. That'd be great. Come on, let's go. Here, take this shotgun. It's gonna come in handy real soon. All right, we got the shotgun. By the way, I gotta say, the uh, the Quake 4 shotgun is a massive improvement over the Doom 3 shotgun. Like, the Doom 3 shotgun was just terrible. It couldn't hit anything th that was further away than, like, a foot and a half. Whereas this thing is basically like a sniper rifle, and you can dome guys from across the room. Not only that, but the Quake 4 shotgun has a higher rate of fire, and... Uh, and uh, does higher damage than the Doom 3 shotgun as well. It'll one-shot most of the basic enemies in this game. Head back this way to see if there's any extra ammo. Yes, there is. Oh, wow, dude. Wow, Tech Lee, thanks for fixing up my armor. So, again, uh, the sh thing to note about the shotgun is that, unlike the pistol and the, and the machine gun, it does not have a flashlight. So, if you're in a darkened area, that's just something you're going to need to be aware of. Looks like it's clear. We're gonna move forward. Don't know why I paused like that from there. Reloading. Clear right. Kill this guy. Get ammo. Kill these guys. And then head in here to hit the elevator. You're up, Mahler. Going up. Clear. here and clear this area sorry if my gameplay is a little laggy I think that's just something to do with the recording software that I'm using I'm uh, recording this with OBS because you know I don't have money so I can't pay for a really good recording software so you know OBS isn't terrible but it's not it's like OBS is okay for recording and streaming. It's not the best, but it's also not hot the worst either. It's it's fine. It's perfectly adequate for the most part. It also doesn't help the fact that my computer is like a 10-year-old potato. And like, uh, because Quake is like an over 15 or 16 or however many, t like almost 20-year-old game this at this point. That window's reinforced glass. It'd take a lot more than our weapons to break it. Hey, Kane, you're the scout. Why don't you see if there's another way into that section? Hmm, I think I might know a way. 
kill this guy before he... Oh, no, he killed our medic. Ow. Oh. Poor dude. Okay. Also, something important to note, uh, for if you wanted a little trick for quick weapon swapping in Quake 4, if you're running the shotgun and you quickly hit F, it'll change over to either the machine gun or to the, either the pistol or the machine gun if you have the ammo for it. You don't say. You don't say. You don't say! Who was it? He didn't say. Let's reload all my guns here. Going up. And here we are. Here's another example of those uh, id Tech 4 interactive panels here. To lower the bridge. Make my way across. Door opens and Strog come through. I think that guy cr crushed in the door. Yes, he did. All right. Uh, activate this. Come back down this way. Check for ammo in the corner. None. Come down the elevator. And come over here. All right. Excuse me, sir, but do you have a moment to speak about mining lasers? <laughs> it worked. Good job, Kane. Well, that's one way to get through a door. This is Morris. HQ's finally located the demolitionist for the hangars. He should be there soon. I really hate the melee guys in this game. They're just really irritating. Okay, uh, speaking of which, it, for everyone watching at home, uh, comment down below what is the most irritating video game, uh, enemy you've ever had to deal with. Like, uh, for instance, not necess- for instance, top 10 contender for me for most irritating video game enemy has to be the, uh, Lost Souls from Doom, just cause they're just so- they're so small, and they're so agile, and they just zip- zip- zip around the map all over the place and it's really hard to hit them especially if you run like brutal doom or project brutality like i do and uh yeah and it just makes them even like more zippy than they already are those are up there and a close second are like those baby bug things from doom 3 uh which we'll probably encounter when i inevitably do play through doom 3 at some point later on down the line and uh, for Quake 4, those uh, melee enemies that charge you and attack you are the most annoying in, the, in this game, by far. At least this far into the game. I've, I've been told by a friend of mine on good authority that later on in the game, there's an even more annoying enemy you have to deal with. And I'll repair your armor. Thank you. Please do repair my armor because my uh, health is almost That's gone and I don't want to die instantly. <laughs> Uh, through this door. Lead the guys through. And hit it. The interior hangar. Let's go. 328 AM. Click to continue. And here we go. Whoa. Look at that. Remember, little reminder, this game came out in 2004. And look at this environmental design. Honestly, it's really kind of amazing to see how far games have come. And, you know, like... But even with how far games have come, like, how good a lot of environmental design was with the limits of technology back in the day. Shit. No wonder they're giving our infantry so much trouble. Ooh. The flyers they got. Yeah, that's, uh, that's going to make things harder for us. Oh, 
open up through here. Hang on, let's check the area to make sure there's uh, if there's any pickups here. Doesn't look like it. Through here. What was that? Flashlight on. Yay, ammo. Hold up a sec. Hold up. Ready? Go. The area appears secure. Oh man, why would you say that? Now you know it won't be. See, I called it, didn't I? Did I or did I not call it? You said area is secure, and then all of a sudden, uh, we're being assaulted by turrets. Thanks a lot, dude. Thanks a lot. That is just typical. Every single time. I've got to be really careful with my health here. I'm out of ammo for my flashlight gun. This is Viper Squad. We made a successful sweep of the area, giving all clear to the demolition. King, this is Morris. The demolitionist should be near the top of the elevator. Yes, I am. Now double time it and meet me at the elevator. Okay. Now we gotta head back the way we came. And here's uh Roads waiting for us. I'm beginning to see how you made it off that space station. Wait a minute. This is B Corporal Kane. Thought he'd be a lot bigger. Roads, if you're done with Viper Squad, send him on down to my building. And thankfully, there's a whole bunch of uh, ammo on and way, health pickups okay. here. You heard Morris. Get going. Yes, sir. Okay. Try and keep the strog off me. These charges I'm carrying don't react well to getting hit by weapons fire. And just so you know. These puppies go off. They're going to take out you, me, and half this mountain. All right, so don't let Rhodes get shot. That's uh, good to know. How well can it be? Don't say that! Let's keep the flashlight out for now. Might as well call this gun the Cadian flashlight, given how much I'm using it as a flashlight. If you, for those who don't know what I'm talking about, Cadian flashlight is slang for a Warhammer 40k LAS gun, because, uh... While LAS guns would be devastating against literally anything in our real world, against most stuff in the 40k universe, they're about as effective as flashlights. Okay, which way are we supposed to go again? Um, here we are. It's weird, there's supposed to be a bunch of enemies there, I think. Yeah. Anyways, you can take either one of these uh, areas for, at least I think, in any order you want. At least I think. Anyways, I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, uh, it is a linear shooter, so, you know. Okay, that's one. One down, one to go. Head back this way. Let's bring out the shotgun for close encounters. I'd like to keep this handy. Close encounters. There's those uh, enemies I was talking about. Let's see what you're made of. Let's see what you're made of. Let's see what you're made of, freak. Reload. Didn't realize that was an enemy there. This is my boomstick. Speaking of which, uh, speaking of boomsticks, I actually, uh, 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 my uncle, uh, on my mom's side actually went to the same high school as Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell. So that's cool. You know, this was like before Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell made the Evil Dead. And, uh, yeah, he went to the same high school uh, around the same time that they did. 
which is cool. Let's go somewhere safe and we've fired his charges off. Follow me. Alright, let's uh follow Rhodes out of here and set the charges off. Lead the way, dude. Up through here. Crack the door open so we can get out of here, man. Come on, let's go see the fireworks. And over here. Watch over there, Kane. HQ, charges are prepped to detonate. Detonation in three, two, one. Bo <laughs> And I think that is the perfect note upon which to end this video. Um, thanks, to everybody, for tuning in. Be sure to tune in for the next video that comes out uh, in a couple of days. Uh, thanks so much for watching and supporting the channel. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I've been Willie B. Coyote, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!